All right, guys, we got some uh, some goodies. I got some updates for the Onyx. Oh, it slides out this way. I don't want to show none of the paperwork just in case. But this is their 2 to 12 amp charger. It's kind of reference. It's actually, that'd be pretty portable, actually. It's not, it's not, a, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Um, some other stuff that came. Onyx, actually, they finally sent me a seat for the bike. And they sent me my street tires. So that's something I got to talk about in one of these videos. And this is... The portable charger I was going to start carrying around me, it weighs nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think four, four AA batteries is, is heavier, than, uh, heavier than this thing. So that's cool. It came with this, and then I got the little plugs down there. Cool, so I'll probably be bringing this when I uh, go to work and whatnot to charge it up. So sweet. Well, it's kind of, a, kind of loose, I guess that'll do, as long as it doesn't pop out of there. But yeah, uh, some updates I will give you guys later. Now we got to go ride the Saron because we don't have time to charge that bike. I wanted to show you guys that ever since I got this pedal kit on, first off, these were loose. Not a big deal. I tightened these two, uh, two screws up because my kickstand was wobbly. But you notice, I don't know if you can get in there because this is a wide view, but it's nicked right here and it's nicked right here. And the reason that happens is because this comes all the way back and hits this. And same with this, that pedal will actually like hit this if it's down. So that's one bad thing about this kit. Your uh, kickstand's gonna get scraped up. I mean, I don't really care too much. I'm more concerned about the actual bike overall getting scratches. The kickstand is not a big deal because that's replaceable, but the frame's not. I just want to point that out. All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to work like 99% of my videos. <laughs> But I kind of wanted to give you guys a little update on the pedal kit and how it feels and whatnot. Um, other than the nicks that my uh, kickstand's getting because the pedals are hitting it and then when you push the bike backwards, the crank rotates and then the, you know, the crank hits it. That's kind of annoying. Um, uh, the only downside that I don't like about it is when I get to like a stop sign or I have to actually stop, the fact that now my foot goes way past where the stock pegs would sit at, it makes me feel like I need to be taller um, because the pedals go all the way down to the ground. So it might be better for a bigger person to start out by moving the bike. But I was so used to the pegs. So um, it's, a little, it's a little learning curve. But overall, it's not, it's not horrible. I will say that the pedals, when I'm actually riding, they feel a lot comfortable to me. Now that I've been riding it for a while, they're a lot wider. Um, I know you can get wider foot pegs if you really wanted to. See, like starting off, my foot's like way almost like on the actual ground ground. And then you kind of have to rotate the cranks like once and then you have to kind of get your feet uh, lined up again like a normal bike. But overall, I, I like them. You know, the one thing you're going to notice going from pegs to uh, pedal kit is, uh, let's see how I can explain this. So obviously pegs don't move and then when you get these, these are going to move and it feels really funky at first because when you go to step on the bike and try to move it, the pedal is going to go all the way down. And uh, when you're riding, whenever your feet move and go back and forth, it just feels like it's not connected to like anything. Something you might want to, I don't know, consider if you get this pedal kit. The next thing you're going to notice about this kit, as soon as you get it, like literally as soon as you put it on, you're going to feel a bad vibration in the pedals because um, that chain is super tight. I haven't felt to see if my chain loosened up, but the vibrations aren't really there anymore. There's a certain uh, like RPM on this motor where I can feel it more so than anything, but for the most part, it's nothing now. But when you first get it, it's gonna feel like you installed it wrong. You're gonna feel like there's something like, something wrong with it. We're all gonna run this light. I got places to be. It's a little sketchy riding like that. I try not to uh, ride like that too much now. I did, a, I did have fun at first when I first got this bike, but not good anymore. Um, 
Um, another thing you might want to consider too is that the pegs that were on the bike they fold in so let's say you know you uh, throw down the bike pegs are gonna bend in and they're not gonna make the bike like hop around and you know get destroyed it kind of saves the pegs um, on this having pedals they're not gonna bend anywhere so if you do lay this bike down it might bounce off of the pedals and uh, topple over some more just depends on you know how you let so that's just something you might want to consider and look into and obviously your pedals are going to be destroyed your pranks are your cranks are probably going to be bent your pedals are going to be bent so like right now like when i got to get ready your foot goes all the way down and it actually feels like i put peg extenders on i don't like that feeling but i'm getting used to it it's not the end of the world Let me tell you why I got these for myself. I'm in California, Fresno. Just in case I get that one cop, you know, that's having a bad day or, you know, he needs to give a ticket to someone for the day. I don't want to be that guy. And I feel like, I feel like if I can see that cop before he sees me, then I can try to get in the bike lane and I can act like a bike because I can, I can stop this bike in no problem. You know, like if I wanted to, like right now, I just like slow down and I'll get up to my speed where am I supposed to be at, like there, and then I can start pedaling, like fake pedaling, you know, while I go. So, like there's a cop right there, so shit, see? I can just, uh, like right now, I'm just pedaling my ass off. They don't need it, no. They don't know shit. And then once we're going, dip, dip out. But I mean, I love it. Like, I love knowing that I kind of have a little bit of leeway with a cop if he pulls me over. Let's say even if I am going over the speed limit, you know, not like the speed limit on the road, but speed limit for bikes. So our law is 20 miles an hour if you don't have any pedals, all electric power. But you can go up to 28 miles an hour if you have pedals. So to get that extra eight miles per hour, you need to be pedaling. That's the California law. I want to say that law came into effect uh, in 2015 or 2016. I think it's 2015 though. You know, so I might be able to tell a cop like, oh, you know, like, sorry, I have an off-road mode. You know, I'm just trying to get to work and run a little late or something. And maybe he, he might be cool, but no, it's just, it has an off-road mode and a street mode. And uh, maybe I can get by with that, you know, and just show him, you know, like, no, like, I have the sticker. It says it goes 28 miles an hour. I did put that on the back of the bike. It says it only has 750 watts. That might be something you might want to think of. But hey, if you use this bike for just all off road and you don't have a problem or you're not, you don't care about getting the ticket, then by all means, you know, you don't need pedals. I, I would probably stick with the pegs and just get wider foot pegs. But me personally, I don't want to get messed around with cops, so. It's just like an advantage. I will say, if you want to give someone a good laugh in their car or something like that, just go past them doing about 40 or 50 miles an hour and just uh, just start pedaling. It won't do anything, but hey, who like, you know how funny it is? Like I turn over and I see people looking at my bike when I get to the light and I got pedals on it. I've only had this pedal kit on for maybe four or five days. And the looks I get so far, just, they're fucking hilarious. I don't really have any bad complaints. Like I said, the vibrations went away after riding on it for probably 30 miles or so. And the installation was pretty damn easy. If you do everything correctly the first time, and you know you know how to kind of use some tools but you never really seen how this gets installed it'll probably take you about two hours from start to finish the hardest part was removing that sensor because unthreading it was a pain and then doing the whole kickstand spring that was the only hardest thing to do the other stuff it was just lining it up it took a little bit of time you know you got to have the bike up but not bad at all like not bad at all if someone asked me to do one on their bike i would gladly do it because it's super simple
what's up everybody oh man this isn't gonna turn green for me nope it's not stupid light <laughs> all right i'm not sitting at this light anymore oh, shit So what I do with this pedal kit is when I get to a stop, the pedal is all the way sitting flat. I'm about 6'10", and it feels too long for me when I take off. It feels kind of awkward. So I roll back, and then the pedal comes back up. That feels a lot better to push off, because I kind of push the bike a little bit when I, uh, when I roll at lights. That seems to help me. But as soon as you move like an inch, it, it straight falls to the, the ground again. But it's something you just get used to. I mentioned it before, you're gonna hear a little bit of noise. I'm getting a lot of noise where it almost makes it sound like it's the engine making like a clunking noise. But I only got that as soon as I put this pedal kit on. So I don't think it's anything to be worried about. The bike runs perfectly fine. It's on diesel, so if you want to know when you hear that noise, I hear it on diesel. It's a little hard to hear over the whine of the motor, but when you let off, you can definitely hear it. But uh, that's it, guys. So just keep those things in mind if you do pick up this kit. But if you're not worried about getting pulled over the law, I say just get wider foot pegs and don't get a uh, pedal kit. But if you're in California and you're a little worried that cops might mess with you because it looks like an electric dirt bike, I would 100% say get this pedal kit. It's the V2 version. It's the power kit. Highly recommend it. I'll see you guys.